Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Abe and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Abe's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands, the correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You're going to be introduced to all of that during your follow-up training session. Now, Abe is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Abe heal. Now at this point, Abe has a job to do, and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking. Not forging ahead or lagging behind, but keeping his shoulders even with your left leg. And each time that you turn, he should turn. If you speed up or slow down, he should do the same. And when you stop walking, he's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So when you stop to cross traffic or talk to a neighbor, he's sitting nicely at your left to wait for his next command. And as your puppy gets older and bigger, you're going to love this heel command. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use his name. You can practice this indoors as well as outdoors. You're going to start out at about 30 seconds and you're going to work up to three minutes. When Rich returns back to him, he quickly returns back to Abe's shoulders where they started. He stops right there and then Abe expects to get another command. And they take off healing again. And you can tell that he enjoys doing his work. His tail is up and wagging. He's happy. They love this one-on-one -on -one attention. <laughs> nice automatic sit. Sit, stay. Rich backs up and turns to face him. He lets him hold it for a minute just so he understands what stay is. Helps to build self-control. And this time Rich is going to call him out of that. The command is Abe, come and Abe should come and sit right in front of you facing your knees. He should not be jumping all over you. And then he returns back to heel and back sitting. Very nicely done. He's really come a long way in every aspect of his training, his house training, his obedience training. He's really done a major turnaround. Nice automatic sit. Stay. Stay. He's going potty. He's going potty. Which heals him out of that. They're going to come back and do that sit, stay, and come again for us. Stay. He backs up, he's going to use his name and a happy voice and call him right in. Well, I guess we proved that he goes potty outside, <laughs> which was one of his problems when he first came. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are your down commands and they're probably besides heal your most used commands. So you always have your puppy seated first. You're going to take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. Now your long down stay practice right in your living room in the air conditioning where you're comfortable. You're going to start out at about a minute and you're going to work slowly up to five minutes. And again, this is another self-control exercise for him. When Rich returns back to him, again, he will walk quickly back around to heel position. He stops at Abe's shoulders and then he gives him another command.
<laughs> he's such a puppy right now. He's such a teenager. Always have him seated first. Stay. Down and stay. Okay. And you can repeat your stay command. And if you see him start to get antsy or start to move, you can say stay again or no stay. This time Rich will call him out of that. Have him sit right in front and go back to heel. Back sitting. Good job, bud. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is you're down from a distance. This is a little bit harder because the puppy's not right next to you. So you're going to have him sit. You're going to leave him in a stay. You're going to turn to face him. You're going to use your right hand to give the command. And you drop him into a down from a distance and give him a stay. So we have demonstrated for you all of Abe's formal on-leash obedience commands and some things that we didn't plan to be in the video. He's done a great job here at school. He's come a long, long way, and we know you're going to be very proud of him. And thank you so much for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.